An old tall tale says that mountain animals, such as goats, are born with the legs on one side of their bodies longer than the ones on the other side. The idea is that this would make it easier for them to walk along steep mountain slopes. If you think about it though, there would be one big drawback to such an arrangement. The animal could only move in one direction. If it turned around so that its short legs were on the downhill side, it would tip over and tumble down the mountain. Animals such as mountain goats and sheep have bodies that make it easier for them to get around. For example, their hooves have sharp edges that help them grip the steep mountainside. Mountain goats are probably the most sure-footed of the mountain animals. Goats sometimes walk out onto a narrow ledge. When the ledge ends, the goats rise up on their back legs, turn around, and walk back. Mountains can get very cold, especially in winter. Mountain animals need a way to survive the cold weather. Animals can deal with that problem in four ways. 1. They can move down the mountain to where it is warmer and there is more shelter. 2. They can grow heavy coats to keep them warm. 3. They can find shelter underground or under the snow. 4. They can hibernate. Most large mountain animals spend the winter lower down the mountain. In the Rockies, elk and bighorn sheep move farther down. There, they find shelter from the cold and wind among trees and bushes. Mountain goats, on the other hand, stay high up. They have two layers of fur to keep them warm. One is a soft, woolly undercoat. The other layer is a longer, shaggy outer coat. In the spring and summer, they shed large parts of these coverings. They end up looking rather untidy. The meadow vole also stays high up in the mountains. A vole is a small animal similar to a mouse. The vole digs tunnels under the snow. It lives underground during the winter. The snow keeps the wind and cold away. Some animals, such as ground squirrels, survive by hibernating. They spend the summer and fall eating lots of food. The food is stored as fat in their bodies. In the late fall, they go into their holes and sleep. Slowly, their bodies cool off until they are the same temperature as the hole, about 45 degrees Fahrenheit to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Their heartbeats and breathing slow down. Their bodies need less energy and can live off their stored body fat. Many different animals live in the mountains. The mountain lion is the largest wild cat in North America. The mountain lion is also known as the puma, panther, cougar, or catamount. Once, the mountain lion roamed all over North America. As more and more people moved into the lowlands and built towns and cities, the mountain lion was driven away. Unable to survive in the lowlands, the lions were forced to mostly live in the mountains. Guanacos live in the Andes of South America. Guanacos are related to llamas. Guanacos are very shy. As they graze, one member of the herd stands guard on higher ground. If they are in danger, the guard gives a signal. The herd then runs away. The apex has lived in the Alps for a long time. Its image appears in cave drawings made thousands of years ago. Its horns can grow as long as three feet. Its horns are so long, it can scratch an itch on its rump with the tip of a horn. Mountain animals come in many sizes and shapes. The tiny wolf spider lives in the mountains of North America. The much bigger giant panda makes its home in the mountains of China. Many birds, such as eagles and condors, fly through the air above mountains all around the world. Some mountain animals are probably myths. Local people in the Himalayas tell stories of a huge ape-like creature called the Yeti. No one has been able to prove that the Yeti is real. 